Screen Team Media. We're going to bring out the creative team and the cast of Dexter, and then uh, we're going to talk a little bit, and we'll take some questions from you, the audience. I will be asking some questions. Um, I think backstage, I probably already asked a question that's on everybody's mind. And yes, it is too late to write an episode where Dexter goes after uh, Casey. Casey Anthony, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, no such luck. Maybe next season. Let's start with one of the executive producers of Dexter. Sarah Colleton is here. Let's give a hand to Sarah. Masuka on the show, C.S. Lee. <laughs> Sergeant Angel Batista, David Zayas. <laughs> Harry Morgan, James Remar. <laughs> Travis Marshall, played by Colin Hanks. the executive producer and star of Dexter. He is Dexter Morgan, Michael C. Hall. Now, I make this mistake every year, but I'm going to do it again. I should learn better. But Colin, who are you on the show? I can neither confirm nor deny any involvement in the Dexter television program, <laughs> but I'm here, so I must be on the show. We know his name's Travis Marshall. We know that much. I play Travis Marshall. Um, I really can't give away too much. We want to keep it a fun surprise for all of you. Um, I think the one thing that I can say is that uh, you're going to see some stuff this season. If I may be so bold as to speak for this fine program that's been on five years before I've been on it. But you're going to see some stuff this season that uh, you have not seen uh, in previous seasons. It's going to be exciting. And I may or may not be a part of that. As an actor, what's it like when you jump on a show, like you mentioned, it's been going for five years and you sort of come on the train late? It's a treat. Uh, you, you always want to work with good people and you always want to uh, be on a, on a quality uh, a show. And um, I think that Dexter is, is one of the, if not the best show that's, uh, that's been on television consistently for the past five years. And um, the fans of the show, uh, all of you guys are, are, have been so great and so, and so welcoming, as have uh, the cast and, and the crew of the show. So uh, I'm just the luckiest guy on, in San Diego right now. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I noticed in the trailer that Harrison's getting older now. Yeah. It's got to be not as easy just to carry him around and get away with everything that Dexter gets away with. The kid's getting more aware now. It's got to change Dexter's behavior, right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a lot heavier. Uh, <laughs> I got to do, I got to switch him. Uh, also, the actor or actors who play Harrison, uh, Luke and Evan, uh, have over the hiatus learned the concept of no. So uh, they're, they're uh, they're fantastic, but you, you have to be kind of ready to improvise with them um, because whatever's on the page is probably something they're going to look at and say, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not getting in a car seat. I'm not, you know, whatever it is. Um, but um, yeah, I think, I think that's a big engine at the beginning of the season, Dexter's uh, awareness that not only does he have things he doesn't want to pass on to his son, but his son is growing into uh, from infancy into being a little boy and is only going to get older and more uh, in need of guidance and Dexter feels kind of ill-equipped to provide that um, and, and is so uh, as a result is, is motivated to find ways to do that um, including uh, maybe giving him some sort of spiritual grounding something Dexter has never really cared about or been preoccupied with, but recognizes his son might need. 
Sarah, what are some of the bigger issues that the show's addressing this season, just in broad strokes? Well, um, I, I think Michael just ta uh, touched upon one of them, which is, you know, Dexter knows what he doesn't want to pass on to his son, but he doesn't know what he does, and so he starts this journey that, of course, then snowballs into a, a huge, huge evolved plot for the season. Um, and it's, 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 it's initiated by his um, desire to define faith, which is by its very nature undefinable. So it presents him with a lot of different avenues that he explores, and, and it's done in true Dexter style. So it, it is a lot of fun, and, and, and um, it's looked at through his prism, which is a very unique one. David, one of my favorite parts of last season was seeing uh, Batista as a married man and watching him navigate the, the dangerous waters of being married to a woman you also work with. What's in store for that relationship this season? Can we talk about that? It's very spicy. <laughs> um, caliente. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's, <laughs> well, it's always great, especially working with uh, somebody like Lauren Velez and, and creating this uh, relationship on this show and how everything else on the show, whatever happens indirectly, affects not only them individually, but their relationship. Um, and so that was, that was a, a lot of fun last year. And this year should be even more interesting to we'll see. And while we're talking about love lives, uh, Dexter not doing so well lately. <laughs> what? Dexter not doing so well love, uh, love life way. Uh, Lumen, Lumen is left. Yep. She's gone. Um, He's on his own again. Yeah, I think he had to, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the Lumen character, the Lumen story is, is something that allowed Dexter to actively atone for uh, the responsibility he has, uh, a large responsibility for Rita's death. And uh, he's been through that, he's processed that in his way. Uh, Lumen recognized the ultimate impossibility of a healthy union with Dexter, and uh, but I think uh, we, we pick up about a year later, and he's uh, pretty uh, much completely unplugged from that experience, and is back to his uh, killing ways. <laughs> James, as uh, Dexter struggles with being a father and, and deciding what to pass on to his son, what trying not pass on. Does Harry step in and give more fatherly advice, maybe some advice on child rearing and, and how to deal with that situation? Okay. <clears throat> uh, not, not, not specifically. I, I, I feel Harry um, echoes inside of Dexter's, Dexter's head, uh, probably playing devil's advocate. Are you sure that's a good idea sort of thing? Is this what you want to pass on to him? More, more uh, of, a, of a sounding board, uh, I, I would think, for Dexter's psyche than to actually say, don't do this, do this. And with, you know, with fathers and sons, I mean, so much is passed on unconsciously anyway. You can't help it. Right. And, um, Harry's there. 